aviation, it takes very special mastery to be the first. You must be a very special person, and it helps to be surrounded by very special people. The millionaire adventurer Steve Fawcett is going after another first. He took off one day from Kansas, hoping to become the first ever to fly an airplane solo, non-stop around the world. One man, one plane, one world. A record-breaking first flight that catapulted the Virgin Atlantic Global Flyer and pilot Steve Fawcett into the annals of aviation history. A spectacular feat that began and ended in one special place, the crossroads of America, Salina, Kansas. A sleepy little Kansas town? Hardly. Salina means business, technology, and a growing center for aviation services. It exudes a spirit of excellence, a can-do character defined enthusiastically and without limits, not even the limits of the sky. Welcome to Salina, Kansas. But how did UK-based Virgin Atlantic and the Global Flyer team select Salina as home base for the launch, landing, and mission control of this sleek and sophisticated experimental aircraft? What compelled one of the world's most successful and dynamic entrepreneurs, Sir Richard Branson, to endorse Salina? And why did Salina rise to the top for legendary aviator, the late Steve Fawcett, a man who held more world records than anyone? In Steve Fawcett's own words, Salina has uh, the best runway uh, for our purposes, a uh, long runway, freshly resurfaced. And a key thing was the support of uh, people in Salina, the, the airport, Kansas State, Chamber of Commerce, um, you know, the real enthusiasm for uh, yeah, helping us uh, make this happen. With two miles of primary runway in the heart of America, Salina Municipal Airport was already America's fuel stop for corporate and military aircraft. And in the heart of it all, adjacent to the runway, resides one of the world's top five aviation and technology education programs, Kansas State University at Salina's Applied Aviation Research Center. Here, aspiring pilots and aviation technicians hone their skills with hands-on experience, including being an integral part of the Global Flyer team. The beauty of this with these students is none of them are just involved in name. They're involved because they're doing it, and, and they are working. They rolled up their sleeves, and they've done what we do well, which is apply the technology. That's what we excel in, and they've done it. There was a global flyer flight team, but equally vital was the Salina team, a strategic partnership of the Salina Area Chamber of Commerce, Salina Airport Authority, and Kansas State University. Together, these key players help land the high-flying Global Flyer project. I think we realize that as a community we can all work together and 50,000 people can identify a common purpose and everybody can unite together, not only in terms of people but really the, some of the key organizations in the community. And it gave folks the sense that we can accomplish this, we can do great things for bigger projects, for economic development prospects who really need big mountains moved in order to make their vision become reality. Bringing it all together, cementing the final plans, prepping the runway, the airport, readying maintenance and emergency services, the list goes on. Helping lead the charge toward a world record were the people of Salina Airport Authority who dreamt big. The Global Flyer event gave us an opportunity to showcase the airport, Airport Industrial Center, and kick off the marketing of the Salina Aviation Service Center to the world. It gave us immediate exposure and helped us show to the world and the aviation industry worldwide that we're world class. We can support truly world class projects. A record making first flight, more than a little bit of history, an opportunity to ascend above the crowd, beating out other world class locations. Salina did it impressing an international aerospace community with its vibrant, can-do attitude. Uh, Salina will be hopefully on the map um, for, for centuries to come, but we couldn't have actually chosen a better place uh, for the Virgin Global Flyer to take off on. Everybody from Salina Airport um, just, just couldn't have been more helpful, and um, uh, so we, I think we've, we, struck, we struck lucky. Global Flyer. Global Impact. 
a once-in-a-lifetime project that garnered media attention from throughout the world, generated more than 7,000 broadcast stories, and reached 500 million viewers around the world. Big numbers for any city, let alone upstart Salina. From CNN to MSNBC, NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, the BBC, and more. The Virgin Atlantic Global Flyer trained a bright light on Salina, Kansas. And the city shone, taking its place forever in aviation history. And so the question, if Salina can launch the Global Flyer, imagine what it can do for you. One man, one plane, one world, and one special community that made it happen, from launch to mission control to historic landing. Salina, Kansas. Call on Salina when you want to do something special.